The next one that I would like to cover is exponents. And I guess of, of all the math you take, this is probably the least, what I would say, applicable. Uh, we use use exponents. In fact, when we, when we talked about a coulomb of electricity, uh, we brought up exponent. If you'll remember, a coulomb of electricity was 6.28, or a coulomb of electrons, I should say, 6.28 times 10 to the 18th power. Now, there again, we can take multiples or fractions of and have them represented by, by exponents. In this case, we would be taking 10 times itself 18 times. If I have 10 squared, for example, that means 10 times 10. If I have 10 cubed or 10 to the third power, a uh, situation like that, I'm taking 10 times 10 times 10. So this would actually represent 1,000. This would represent 100. Up here, you can imagine the size of the number that we would have here. If I would, uh, if I would go over, if I would multiply this times 10 18 times, every time I multiply it times 10, I'm going over to the right one more number, I would actually have a number. A coulomb of electrons would look like this. I would have 6. Okay, I would have 6, 2, 8, 8. Are you in the picture? Barely. You get the idea. Come over 3, over 3, over 3, over 3, 3, over 3. Actually, what we've got, here's my decimal over here now. Actually, what we've got here is six, now if it was actually a, right on a quarter, we would have two five, but it's actually close to six and a quarter billion, billion electrons. And uh, so you can see why the use of the exponent. So that's one place we've had use for exponent. It, uh, It makes for a, for a smaller number. Now, multiplication and division amounts to addition and subtraction of exponents. And like I say, there isn't that much application for us. However, that is, that is one example. Uh, work out your assignment sheets, send them on in. If you have any problems, we'll work with you. But I guess I've got to say this that uh, the application for exponents is not near as critical as would prefixes or decimals.